Good evening and welcome everyone to the Sillet International Cricket Stadium. We the are here. second T20I between the hosts Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Shanto, you got the coin? Heads is the call, it's a tail. Shanto, you have won the toss, what are you going to do and the reasons for it? Uh, I like to bowl first. That Bangladesh has won the toss and elected to field first. Good evening, Shaim Bai. It's a Sri Lankan team, one change from the previous game, Akila Dhananja. But Bangladesh haven't got any changes, that's a little bit of a surprise because you thought maybe uh, the batters to be a little more respectful to him. But Bangladesh need to, this is powered by Rocket and co-sponsors Nexus Pay, will come out with a sense of purpose. They'll be happy with the confidence level to come back because it's a much win situation for them. We had a humdinger of a match, the first one, as we see Avishka Fernando get ready. Sal Mendes, now he can be very explosive. Look at the strike rate, 134. Let's play with Dutch Bangla Bank. Sorry for right on the money. He needs to do that. Can move the ball both ways. Very impressive in the recent past. Oh, really got him stuck at the crease. Big appeal. Umpire Gazi Sohel feels that it was uh, maybe going a tad too high when it struck. Too high and the length was much better. That's been especially a right hand. It's a nightmare to face a delivery such as this. Cut him back, beaten all ends up. Or at the crease as well, Kusal Mendes. Ideal start here by the two Bangladeshi pace bowlers. Oh, it's up in the air. There are a lot of fielders converging on that. Tuskin says, it's mine. And he gets it. Gets underneath that one, judges it to a nicety, reverse cups it, and uh, gets the first wicket. Well, nothing short in the end by Avishka Fernando. Wasn't that short to go for that stroke. Wasn't that full to drive down the ground. Back of the length. The pressure was building. Plenty of dot deliveries. Avishka Fernando got to do something. In the end, going for that cross padded hike over mid wicket, pays the price. Rewards, wonderful bowling for Tuskin Ahmed and Avishka Fernando's misery in T20 carry in the last 10 innings. Runs of 38, and even today, he's gone without scoring of seven deliveries. Sri Lanka, one for one, Avishka Fernando gone, with, gone without scoring. Oh, nicely behind that. What a way to start your innings. Superb square drive to the boundary. What a shot by coming to Mendes. First delivery on the up. Sound of that blade straight away. I was going for a boundary. Not at all a bad delivery by uh, Taskinama. The length was good. Maybe a little bit way too much in the offside. Full marks to come in. The that will... Once again, cramping him for space, but still does well to maneuver it into the deep for a single. Oh, it's uh, whipped away and it's going to go all the way. That is a fabulous pickup shot by Kamin Mendes. Wrong length again by Taskin Ahmed. Kamin Mendes very strong through the hips. It just helps on its way. With the pace that Taskin Ahmed delivers, you just have to get some decent bat. The rest will take care of itself. Short, picks it up, and it's a massive six by Kamidu. All the ingredients of uh, getting punished. Short, just the ideal height, the pace there. Pitches it up, oh, and just evades the bat. Thinking about it, not quite sure. The ball in that length, no better in the world would be playing these kind of deliveries. Take a look at that, the way it seemed away from the left hand. Coming to Mendy had no answer for that. And again, but this is a superb strike right down the line. Take that as a shot of confidence from Coming to Mendes. That's a statement by Coming to Mendes. Crossing the same length and beautifully played. Nice high elbow through the line. And the bid-off was quite square. Had absolutely no chance. Vintage coming to Mendes. Now that's picked up. And it's going to go many a mile. That has been helped on its way with another half a dozen. This time from the bat of Kasal Mendes. 17 runs of the fourth over. 25 for one. This ball, the previous over. Kasal Mendes picks it up. What a shot, middle of the bat. 
that went a mile. Brilliant. Finishing the over with the maximum. Yeah, it was all commando prior to that, wasn't it? And then uh, Kushal Mandi says, I'll join the party. Which is it up and he tonks it over the top. Take that. One bounce into the fence. They waited for that. Just the fuller length and immediately punished. Another big over. Nine from it after five. Sri Lanka move on to 34 for one. Last delivery. The previous over. Hit for a boundary. Kushal Mendes was in the slot. And he didn't hesitate. Going to the pitch of the ball. Clearing long off. That's nicely cut away. It's a gorgeous looking shot. You must be proud of it. Russell Arnold. Well, really happy the way he's batting. Coming to Mendes is uh, been solid. Scoring quickly and playing some wonderful shots to that position he's in. Doesn't go towards the ball. Gets into a base and uses the pace. 38 for one. They're now quietly catching up. They're quietly catching up. Just floated it in. Could, could be close. Desperate dive. The non-strikers and they're looking for another one. Didn't take the risk. Superb. Superb backing up. By the fielder at short mid-wicket because Mustafizur was going to have a go. Mendis knows he has to turn around and throw. Oh, that's a gorgeous stroke. He's leaned onto that stroke for four runs. And he just needs a one over where a few runs, a couple of shots, and then the batters, they're away. How they read the game, how they approach each and every delivery changes, and that's what we're seeing from the two Mendices. 43 in the previous game, two days ago, Sri Lanka made 206. The power play score was 45 for two. In the air! And he's timed it superbly. Lens in the sense. Six to finish the sixth. End of power play. 15 of the fizz over. Sri Lanka are 49 for one. Move that front leg. And away from that fielder. Well done by Shomo Sharkar. Needed to gain some balance and only allowed a single. This is very good fielding. Definitely saved three runs. It's not only the three runs that he saved. The feeling for the batter that he didn't get any when he was expecting four. Mindy stays looking for it. They haven't scored a boundary in 10 balls the, since the power play ended. Just the eight run. Oh, this time he's connected it pretty well. Should clear the rope. It does for a maximum. And it ends the over, 11 runs off it. It's 64 for one, particularly later on in the innings. But this is the six of Mahdi in the last delivery. That was slightly on off stump. That's why he was able to get underneath it. Previously, the angle in at the right hander. Hence, he was not able to. Go on. Bendis is gone this time. John Musakar, he strikes, and that is a big blow for Sri Lanka. It's a gem of a delivery from John Musakar. It's the line, and most importantly, it's the length. Just back of it. Sort of rising on the battery. He was trying to make room for himself, but cramped up. Induces the outside edge as he celebrates. Kushal Mendes, he goes for it. A very useful 36 of 22. Sri Lanka lose their second. It doesn't. It doesn't. He's picked that up and put it into the stands. That's the attitude these players bring into the game these days. A wicket doesn't stop you. You still know what your target is. You know your game. And you work towards it. Highlight for me of that shot is that he was on the front foot. Full flow of the bat, full follow through, boom, into the stands. Da, 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 da. Leading edge, bit of confusion. I think he's a wicket, and they've got it. 
It's the pricey wicket of Kamindo Mendes. Rishad Hussain has run him out. Mighty Hassan held his nerve, got an easy throw in on the bounce to Rishad. Now only himself to blame coming to Mendes because he did not read the wrong one. There was an edge and he does take off for the single. He's off and he stops. Adira Samara Vikrama responds. You start running, you keep running. You start and stop, you got to keep walking. That's what Mendes does. 37 to him. Pulled away. And it's gone the distance. It is half a dozen sixes already in this innings. Remember, Sri Lanka really stepped on the gas after the 10th over in the first T20 International also. That's a good shot. Half-hearted by Charita Salangan. Wasn't that flu? Full flowing bad, but in the end, the timing was good. Placement was spot on. Charita Salangan gets going with the maximum. It comes to that length, and this time a slower delivery. Sadira Samara Vikram wanted to keep it away towards midweek for a single. Gets the leading edge, and the fist strikes to Bangladesh. Yeah, this will give him so much confidence knowing that his first over went for 15. He started well, beat the bat, the first ball that he bowled in the Sova, and then produces a delivery where all Samara Vikram could manage to do it, hit it back. To the bowler trying to flick it away on the mid wicket played a little bit too early gone really good from uh most of his raman to see the back of uh sadira samara Vikrama for seven unlucky unlucky that'll go to the boundary you know mm. bottom edge it's too much width by mustafiz charit Langa just threw the hands at it as long as it comes to Sri Lanka, that's what matters. As Bangladesh doing well, they are picking up because in regular intervals, keeping the run rate in check. Sri Lanka need this partnership to blossom. Angelo Matthews will take a little time to get himself in. And this is where Charit Asalanka's role is going to be crucial. On the surface. Well, that one's gone. A straight into the hands. No, just over him. That's gone the maximum. And the hundred comes up on the board. This is good batting, putting the pressure on the bowler early on in the over. Keeping a good pace, hitting through the line, not trying to go through his favourite area which is mid wicket. That's a safe shot and a good option taken by Charita Salanka. Agonising for Bangladesh, happiness for Sri Lanka. More grass. There you go. It's in the slot and it goes the distance. What a lovely pickup shot once again from the bat of Asalanka. What a shot. Had the elevation, the distance, the crisp sound of that bat. Wow. Tarit Asalanka is in touch. Again, again, can talk about the trueness of the pitch. Absolutely no turn. The finger spinners hardly get any turn. Tarit Asalanka covering the line. And over oh, it goes. Four runs here. See, there you go. Brilliant. Spot on, right on the cue. Tries to cut it, misses. You miss. I hit onto the stumps. Good comeback from uh, Mahdi Hassan after being hit for a six. Spot another. You set, pull the length back. Exactly what Mahdi did. Charit Tasalanga trying to play the square cut shot was not there. The ball was hitting onto you. Back foot straight of that drive towards extra car would have been a much better choice. Going for a cut shot, pays the penalty. Mahdi Hassan strikes for. Bangladesh. Asalanka gone for 28. Sri Lanka. Relish. Ah, poor delivery. Gets the treatment. That'll be a four. Creamed it, Angelo. This is low full toss right in the arc. And Angelo said, Thank you very much. It's exactly what he needed. Get him going. Field at long off had absolutely no chance. He's dragged that. And it's just gone past the fielder. That was hit very hard, timed very well, and placed nicely for four runs. Now when again, sneak them through. And all the time in the world. 
but Bangladesh have been very good in the field. They can't afford this to creep in. The first to deliver his ball, but Tuscan. Variations. He goes for a hoik. He does get it between the two fielders. Maybe not quite where he intended, but it'll do for the time being. Hasn't been uh, boundary for a long, long while. A swing more in hope from Matthews. Gets pace between square leg and mid wicket. Now the boundaries are not huge. It's 60 meter hits square of the wicket. More like an egg. The boundaries, the angles, a little difficult to. Backs away, finds that gap. That is very, very well manufactured. Made room for himself and smashed it through the covers. Now that's clever cricket from Angelo Matthews. The slower one, previously he hoiked it to mid wicket. Got lucky, he knew this will be quicker. He'll be bowling the angle and hence he's prepared. It sits up. He created that opportunity, Angelo Matthews. A oh, good ball. He played well too. Well, that raced away. I thought for a moment he might just find the feeler. That was truly struck. Excellent shot. Shanaka needed that. That's his first boundary. It's his 11th delivery that he's faced, and it's a good shot. A very good shot. Look, it pitches on the crease. He gets a lot of power behind it. Normally, the power is not in the fork. Up in the air and over the top. So they've got to move on. They needed that six badly. It's a good strike from Shanaka. 50 run partnership. So far since the 15th over, only 41 runs conceded. That was slower, but it was fuller. Chanaka didn't hit it as well as he would have liked, but well enough. It goes higher than he would have thought. And the runs to be taken. Three deliveries remain. Mid-off's gone off. He has to go, he does. It's up in there. How far is that going? Only as far as the fielder, who unfortunately drops it. Like Madhya San, I think it was, he's feel it so well, should have taken that. He had it covered, he made it look simple, covered all the ground. It just goes through. He's been good in the field. Counted for a run out. Jeez. He's lucky there. If that could have gone on and hit him on the forehead. Last ball of the innings coming up. Good ball. That's a very good Yorker. Does well to dig it out and get a single to finish off that last over. The end of 20 Sri Lanka have reached 165 for five. Easy at all. Just the 43 runs in the last five overs compared to 70. That dominant innings did not come today. Yeah, the partnership tells you the story. 66 of 44 between the two Mendeses gathered at the end with 53 of 40 between Charnaka and Matthews. Toriful was outstanding even though wicketless. The spinners, they did a job. That's a much better bowling card and Bangladesh will be very, very happy with their efforts today. So that's what's happened, 165 by Sri Lanka. Bangladesh need to score 166 to win this one. We'll see how they get along. You reckon that they can go and defend this? It'll be a tough uh, one to do, especially with the... Uh, I'll be very much interested to see the kind of approach they will have in this Badushanka. The, beg your pardon, the left arm seamer. I'm not going to take any chances. Like Luton Komadash will be uh, very quickly and then looking to get set and looking to uh, play some shots. You, you can get out. That's exactly what happened with the Sri Lankans uh, because the ball is coming on to the bat. Angelo Matthews picked up two wickets in his first spell in that first one T20 International. And he uh, gets off the mark uh, with a single. Off the mark with a neat shot by Litondas. Slip in place. 
Oh, gets an outside edge, falls short of the field, and it goes through. It goes to the boundary. A streaky boundary to start. A poor piece of fielding by coming the men at the slips. Should have been stopped. Yes, the ball did not carry. We expect this to be stopped. Unlucky Angelo Matthews, but nevertheless, Saumya Sakar starts his uh, innings with a boundary. Yeah, he's eyeing to play it towards the mid-wicket area, closing the face of the bat. Gets uh, an outside edge, a genuine edge. And the kind of pace that he's bowling at, I reckon the uh, keep. Again, that's what he was uh, doing in that last uh, match, but he's uh, played that nicely, covering up. Oh, there'll be a boundary. Again, sloppy from uh, Sri Lankan fielders. But Rana is the fielder. But really good piece of timing this time around from uh, Lichun Komadas. Oh, well in control. Before the ball was delivered, sifting outside the Ostam, nicely placed, timed, and Matisha Patirana could have done a much better job. Definitely could have saved two runs in the end. Two boundaries in this over, both could have been stopped. Uh, away swinging delivery for the left hand. This time, the length was good. More than uh, inside edge, that was thick inside edge and goes to the boundary. Sarkar was trying to go extra cover. That's the pace where Dilshan Marsanga bowls. Nevertheless, a boundary for Bangladesh. Uh, behind the up, uh, throwing the full Monty at it. Unlucky Dilshan Marsanga. That's what you play with the when you come have a, this kind of feel and the lengths are full and attacking. And Shoriful and Dilshan both have. De oh, top shot, top shot. Lovely way to finish the over. Eight in that over, 18 without loss. So, Mr. Kar, take a look at this for the timing and placement. I hope there was a photographer at long off took that picture. Take a look at that. Short one, put a look at that piece of timing. That's a uh, graceful from uh, Lichon Komadas. But the last two deliveries, the two boundaries, just to show how good the pitch is. This was not that short for him, Angelo. Sits up, take a look at that for a timing and placement by Lichon Das. And the previous over. Again, one to the left now, the other one was to the right, beautifully placed. Again, lovely piece of timing. They're loving it. The yeah, Avishya Fernando at Sweet Pakava was a mere spectator. The first to the left, second to the right. Beg your pardon, first to the uh, right, second to the left. And Litton Das playing with the fielder at Sweet Pakava. Some of those players, he has plenty of time to play fast bowling. Litton Das opening the face deliberately, placing it perfectly, and gets another boundary. Back to back boundaries to start the third over. Yeah, he just bowled a little bit too wide on both occasions. Well, straight away he's gone for the pull and he's been given and he's taken the review. The ball appears to be close. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Go back, go back, go back, just keep rolling, satisfying, no bad in ball, back to on field, you need to change your original decision out to not out. Picked up a wicket here. Oh, rubbing salt to the wound. The final leg in the circle, that's a risky line to bowl by Bindra Fernando. Earning the length, earning the line. Saume Sarka just helped on its way. The emotions shouldn't be getting over it. They've got to keep in check, they've got to focus. Bigger things has to be won, not only the moment. Yeah, what is gone and you cannot change. Clearly disappointed this time. Shot or mid wicket. Couple of bounces and trickles away for a boundary. That length in this pitch will go the distance. Well, probably he was expecting that, Sommo Sharkar. He picked up the length quickly. Again, not coming from the middle part of the bat. It's the good.
good outside part of the bat, but still goes. Goes for a boundary. That's a poor delivery. That's a lovely placement one more time. Beautifully placed. Uh, have a look at that ball racing over to the boundary ropes. A good shot by Lichon Das. Mahesh takes the time to go full. Gave himself some room to go over the offside, possibly, Lichon Das. Takes and saw him giving room. And followed him. Take a look at this for a piece of timing. Long on field, coming to Mendes was Chris across the field. It was beaten in the end. Valiant attempt, just not good enough. Yeah, low full toes. Well, asking for trouble. 65. Bangladesh looking very, very comfortable at the moment. Shots like that from Liton Kumar Dash are going to bolster their conference. confidence. Yeah, Madhushanka expensive in his first over. Changes the length. He goes short. Liton Dash at his best. It's scoreboard pressure. They are making a better decisions as batters. Whereas, so different what mindsets can do. That's nicely using the pace of the ball. Oh, desperate effort. But it's uh, rolled over for another boundary. Didn't hit it hard at all. Used the pace of the bowler and the angle of the bat. Nothing wrong with that delivery. Playing the angles so, so well, Litton does. If you notice something, he's not been moving around the crease at all today. Just a positive stride towards it or onto the back foot and playing his shots looks as day two. Deviating down leg side, easy pickings. That's a wayward delivery and immediately gets the four runs. And he can shake his head, but he is the one at fault. Those uh, leg buys uh, to finish off uh, the sixth over. Power play done and dusted. Six to three without loss. Oh, they've reviewed it. Oh, at last, at the last moment. Ball seemed to be drifting down leg. Move on to side on camera play. Front on, please. Has to be close to the bat. Can I have Altais? Teaching outside the leg. Back to on field. Gaji, I recommend to steer or Pitching way out outside decision. next time. Wasted review. Short is uh, played that very nicely. But good feeling. That is a tumbling take. The need more of that. The support in the deep, in the field. Brent. Tripped up, Matthews picks up a catch. This time, there's no doubt, he, but he's not walking, he does. <laughs> I think uh, Pajarana came back very well. A few wayward deliveries and the question still being asked by the skipper, but the first wicket has fallen. An important breakthrough, Sri Lanka badly needed to see the back of one of the two batters, and this is the manner in which he went. Short, he tried to swivel around, just got a little big on him, got the splice of the bat, and simple take for Angela Matthews to send back Shomo Sharka. The first wicket down, and Shomo walks back after scoring 26. His arm is body rotation, lovely, nice, played it very late. Not a lot of weight, but this is just the class of Shanto. The sublime, the touch. It's waited till it was pretty much past him and then guides it. Look at that. Absolute control. Knew exactly where he was going to play that shot. Using that little pace. Oh, that's so good to watch. That'll uh, give him the confidence. Got, gets off. Well, he got off the. Energy required. Now, this one. He's gone. Asalanka hangs on. Patirana gets a second, it's Litton Das. Got away with it previously, not on this occasion. Yeah, I think he was in two minds. Litton Kumar Das saw the shortness of the length. The height maybe had to reach for it. The last moment didn't really go full swing at that. As you see him play the shot, see just a 
little push upwards and he knew straight away he was in trouble. But what a well judged catch by Asalanka. He takes it well, but Shanto's gone straight to the umpire and he's asking them to have a look at the catch. Now, I'm not really sure he should be doing that. We'll have a look at that later. Litton Das, 36 to him, 82. Just outside the Ostam, Kusal Men dismisses it and that's four buys. That's quite unfortunate. The last game, Kusal did a magnificent job, but this occasion, pitch way in front and lets it go, even though the third man was quite fine, he had absolutely no chance. These are important runs. Just dipped and dropped in front of him. Change of pace, it was slower. Well, not the entire body behind the ball. Gift for Bangladesh. Nicely bowled. Oh, down the leg side. And that's a good piece of fielding. Oh, is it gone? Oh, that bad luck. Avishka Fernando, valiant attempt, throwing himself to the left. Just not good enough. The treatment of short deliveries continues for the captain of Bangladesh. Well, certainly, the results favoring Bangladesh. I think Bangladesh were fabulous in the field today. Well, good effort, but not enough. It's gone through his legs also very last moment, and uh, these are welcome runs. What that does is... Got away, away from that fielder. He's timed it well and gets the boundary. The Stauhid Ridoy, his first one of this match. That's a poor delivery by Dilshan. Possibly uh, pulling the short ball into the pit. Sits up nice to do. Tawit Ridoy, who sits deep in the crease, did not hesitate to keep it down at all. Want to go high in the air. Come in the Mendes at sweeper cover, absolutely no chance. Dangerous better, Tawit Ridoy. Nicely hit in front of square. That's rocketed off the bat of Nazbulo Senchanto for four runs. That's a slap. Another slower delivery by Bindu Fernando. Short, stood up. Najmul Hossein Shanto. Wow. Creamed it. Feel that sweeper cover. Absolutely had no chance. Again, sits deep in the crease. Shanto, just like Tawit Ridoy. All around the ground with the dew falling in the outfield. That's going to skid on. Take a look at that. Oh, that's a shot and a half. Oh, this is well played. Pierce the gap. Some work for the sweeper. Dives in, does Dustin Sharnaka. But it was uh, too well timed by Tauhid. Too full by Mahesh Thiks. And he's struggling definitely. Was right in uh, Tauhid to arc. Got the bat down in time. Middle of the bat. Beat the field at short extra cover. And Dustin Sharnaka at sweeper cover. Valiant attempt. Not good enough. And the ball trickles past. That's gone, that's gone quickly, even though the fine leg fielder was pretty fine. Still couldn't manage to hold that back. Good evening, Russell Arnold. 50 partnership. Good evening, Arthur. Good evening, everyone. It's Bangladesh fighting back after going 1-0 down in the series. The comeback and uh, done a lot of things right in the field. That's where you get the game in your favour. It's all about scoring those runs. Taking wickets. Short ball put away. Uh, picking up boundaries now easily. Yeah, Shanaka starts with a slow one into the pitch, but it sits up and Shanto, he could hit it anywhere. They're getting closer to that finish line. Yeah, I think uh, he used his bowlers in a way to look for those wickets, Charita Salanka did. But credit should go to Bangladesh. The way they battered, especially in Create those... your own luck as batters. Now another slow one into the stand she goes. Chanto getting closer to a half century. Enjoying it. Yeah, he looks to enjoy it because he struggled in the past in the 
We spoke at Bangladesh Premier League even in that first match. But he's enjoying it. He's having a good time with the bat. He's letting his bat to do all the talking. And look at his reaction. It's really good to see. He is the skipper leading from the front. That yep, if it's a slow delivery, especially the senior. Again, a pull shot towards the fielder. I can understand now where you're coming in from, knowing that the runs were scoring and the kind of uh, runs. Oh, shot! It's gone all the way. Yeah, he is a very clean hitter of the cricket ball. And that's gone the distance. On 47, and he's uh, whipped it away. And he's picked up a six, picks up the 50, and the winning runs. Bangladesh going to win by eight wickets. It's a thumping victory to level the series. It sure was, and a great way to finish the chase. Hitting that ball into the tea guard, so that he'll... Dominant, dominant Bangladesh. It was done in the field. Restricting Sri Lanka to 165. Go out there and rectify it. And that they have done to play with the same intensity of the previous day. Yeah, they didn't need Mahmudullah Jakarali to come and bat with 11 balls to spare. Six bowlers used. But everyone else really did struggle. Won the toss, Bangladesh. 170 for two. They had 11 balls to spare. Bangladesh leveled the series with this eight wicket win. For more update, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.